Okay, on this video I'm going to show you how to perform a transient analysis in Multisim. So for that we're going to use the problem 7.11 from the homework as an example and hopefully this will give you an idea of how to perform transient analysis on, uh, on circuits using Multisim. So the circuit is made up of we have a voltage source, a couple of resistors and one inductor. We have a switch that will open at time zero and then we're going to have also a, we want to calculate the current at the inductor. So let's go to multi-sim and start creating our circuit. So this is multi-sim as you know. So we're going to first place our voltage source. So in this case it's going to be a 24 volts DC source. So we select sources, DC power supply. So we press OK, place it. Then we need to place our ground. Every circuit should have a ground. So the ground so we're done placing sources, so we close and now we open basics. So now we're going to add a resistor. Okay, so resistors, press OK. So we place one resistor. We press OK to keep placing resistors. So if we press Ctrl R, that will give us, that will rotate the resistor so we can place it vertical. And then again, OK, one more resistor, Ctrl R and there's our next resistor. Now we select inductors and we place an inductor. Now at this moment we don't need to be worried about values, we are going to change that later. So the last thing we're going to place is a switch. So there's multiple switches here. The one that we're going to select is the time delay switch. So we take, select the time delay switch and we place it in there. So now we have all the components that we need to analyze our circuit or to create the circuit. So with the roller I can zoom in and zoom out. So I zoom in and start connecting the components. So I connect the source, I connect the switch, and I connect every single component making sure that the connections are okay and everything is looking good. So now my circuit is complete once I place the ground. So there you go, my circuit is complete. So now, now the next step, let's change the, the values. So we know that we have a 24 source, 4, 4, and 8 ohm resistor, and a 4 Henry inductor. So it's a 24 volt source, so 24. We double click on the value, and then we enter the value that we want, 4 ohms. And then again, 4 ohms. Again, it's going to be this one, 8 ohms. And finally, this one will be 4 Henry's. So we have the values for our system. Okay, so now we need to figure out how much time we need to leave the switch closed and then at what time we're going to open. So if we click on the switch, double click, we're going to see at what time or how long the switch is going to be on and how long the switch is going to be off. Okay, so for now, let's say if I know, well, let me look. In theory, you should have already solved this circuit or have an idea of what values you're looking at. We know this is a solution for the circuit, and we know that we're looking at a time constant of one third of a second. So that means that if we want to leave the circuit on so the capacitor, the inductor will be fully charged, we have one third of a second. So if we leave tau for approximately six times one third of a second, so we grab our calculator, so it's one third times six, that'll give us two seconds. So two seconds on, and let's leave a little bit lo longer time. So this is going to be three seconds. Press OK. So that means that our switch will be closed for two seconds, and then at three se at two seconds will open, and it will stay open for three seconds. Okay. So let's gonna let's start looking at this thing. So we go here. There's a, a couple of ways you can make a transient analysis. If you click here on interactive or the, the option that is right on the right side of the, of the run button or if you go to simulate analysis you will get this window so we select transient analysis okay so we define a start time and an end time so let's say our end time will be six seconds then the output what do we want we want the current at the inductor L1 so we say I L1 and that's the output that we want on our system. So then at this moment we just press run and there you go. This is basically our circuit. 
you can see we didn't leave enough time our, for our circuit to charge. And one problem, and I know what, what I made wrong, this is not how long it's going to be on, it's when it's going to go on. So at time 0, the switch is going to close and it's going to be on, and then at, at time 3 or 3 seconds, the switch is going to go off. So I didn't leave enough time for my circuit to run, so run it again, and there you go. So you can see my, my inductor gets fully charged, 1.2 seconds, okay? And then at 3, the switch opens, and now my inductor starts discharging. So let me reduce the time. There's no point on leaving this much time. So my switch is going to be open for, let's say, it's going to be closed for one second, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be opening at 1. So let's say it starts at 0, and at 1 second we open the switch, okay? And instead of running it for 6 seconds, let's just run it for 4 seconds. So it, can, it will look a little bit better. So there you go. It looks way better. And that we, I can reduce that to 3 seconds. So close the window, transient. So now we run the simulation only for 3 seconds. Run it. And there you go. Now in here we can make multiple things. We can add a grid. So we can get a better idea of what's going on in the circuit. We can add cursors so we can perform measurements. Like for example, let's see, this one will be cursor 1, this one will be cursor 2. So as I move cursor 1, you can see on the window that X is changing. So basically that's telling me the value of X in this, time, in this case is going to be second. So it's going to be, there's at 1 second, okay, my Y1 is 1.19 volts. And as I move, I can continue moving it as I move my drawing. I can see the voltages going down. Okay, so at one second I know that I open the switch. Okay, so let's go back to our diagram. Uh, not the one that I was looking for. Let me close this. So at one second I, I open the switch, so I disconnect the source. So at one second the inductor starts this charging. So let's go back to my windows. There you go. So that means at one second we start discharging, so at a, a third of a second or one third, the voltage should have dropped. The current should have dropped to uh, 0.36 per, uh, 0.36.8 percent. So one third of a second will be like 1.33. So 1.33 it is right there, almost. Okay, so that will be 1.33. If the voltage is 1.2. 1.2 times uh, 30, uh, 0.368, so the 36.8 percent. This will give me that the voltage should be at 0.44. It's fairly close. Okay, there might be a couple of details there that is affecting our simulation. So hopefully this will get you an idea. From here, if you want to copy it, you can always uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, where it is? So copy graph, okay, that will copy the graph, then I can op open Word. And I can paste the drawing on my Word document, and there I will have my drawing, okay? So I hope this will help you to understand and simulate circuits a little bit better. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a nice day, guys.